We've now looked at the body as the engine of the swing. Remember the lower and the upper parts, okay? And we're in good posture. So this is the engine of the golf swing. We have the shaft on the ground that divides us in two, the load and unloading and the finished position. The next thing I'd like to do is cover the arms. And now we bring the arms down in front of us. And what I need to see here is a specific way to, to hold the arms because I see people put their arms straight down or stretch them out. I want your arms connected to the upper sides of your body and relaxed especially those elbows. I want some bend in the elbows. And the forearms are really down at about 45 degrees, not hanging straight down this way, as if you're holding a basketball. So I will put a basketball right in there to give you this image. Now, the idea here and a guiding principle of the eight-step swing concept and the X factor is that the arms stay in front of the body or in front of the chest. So when I go away, things are going away or working together. You might think of that as a one-piece takeaway, this concept right here. The opposite of that is for center, your upper center right here, to stay at home and the arms to run off, take off, and that can be on either side of your swing. So a good little drill is the idea of center maybe even initiating, being the thing that you feel start the swing, and the arms move back and forth. And I just do that small little drill. Now you will notice that the feet move. So there's activity from the ground up. And it's a little more on the way through. The opposite again is this sort of thing where the body gets locked down. We don't want that. We can stretch that out a little bit longer to, to go back to about right here. Let those elbows bend and through. And that will give you the idea of the big muscles being used correctly in the golf swing.